Well, as per usual, we are setting more rock. We are getting close to almost being done. We're trying to beat the rain today. I'm gonna guess it's not gonna rain with our luck. So, let me just show you guys what we have going on. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. for you guys a little midday uh, update so we got pretty much all of this pooling area done we were able to come in here this morning and get all these rocks sent here we have a top waterfall set backfilled and we're working on a super pooling area to accept our spillway so we're just trying to look for a small upper well area that way our spillway can sit right where my finger's at somewhere in that area it'll flow up into this pooling area go over this rock here dump into this area and in this deep pooling area and then this waterfall is going to look really cool because you're going to have this natural high spot and it's going to kind of split around on this rock here and then we're gonna get another rock back from this point here back to there it's gonna dump down into this area here kind of swirl around and then dump into here and then there's a lot of action gonna be going on in this waterfall so it's turned out pretty nice i'm gonna be really looking forward to this waterfall because it's gonna kind of give it that weepy wall type deal considering this is only a four to seven pump on this waterfall so as i said earlier in the video we're just trying to work our way from the left side of the project out um to over there that way we can focus on that area and we're not cutting off access for the rest of this project so we're keeping things moving we got our wall carved out over in the back area over there and so as soon as we find this rock over here we're going to get that staged ready to go because tomorrow we're going to come in here with new spillways put a new spillway in and then we're probably just going to end up buttoning up this edge over here and then we'll be good for today so looks like jack found a rock up there we're going to see where he wants to put it update we are cruising right along we got this side buttoned up and then we have this awesome pooling area up here with this piece of driftwood that we're going to use we had to wait to button up all these edges because we're going to be back filling all against all these rocks over here and that way we can kind of get it done all at once um and then we we're all focusing on this waterfall over here it's a little bit different than what it was before so we have this big giant rock framing out our waterfall we have that our spill stone and we have another frame rock on this side and then the guys right now are back filling back against these waterfalls this waterfall is going to be a super cool waterfall super tall probably two two and a half foot tall waterfall that's gonna be dumping into this pooling area it's gonna dump down into here kind of switch around see that rock just under there and then it's gonna kind of kick back around here and then spill over this stone here this side's gonna have the five to nine pump and that one's gonna have the four to seven sld pump so we're gonna be pushing closer to nine thousand gallons of water over this waterfall so we got our fabric liner and concrete cloth in so this is our concrete cloth that we like to use and we put that back behind everything so that we know critters can get back underneath here into a hole through our liner so we're trying to be precautious as possible and uh, eliminate all the factors of a hole getting put in the liner. So Chris right now is pushing up some dirt, so uh, used to get to a backfill up against here, then we're gonna start carving out our top pooling area for our final waterfall. And Z's just playing over there in the dirt.
as per usual, we are setting more rock. We are getting close to almost being done. We're trying to beat the rain today. I'm gonna guess it's not gonna rain with our luck. We've been really lucky with uh, it not raining, and so I'm gonna stay positive and keep the positive attitude on it's not gonna rain today. So we're gonna see Z's happy that's not gonna rain too. So let me just show you guys what we have going on. So over here, as you guys can tell, it's been a while since we've kind of given you guys an update. I think the last time I gave you guys an update, we were just working right up in here. And so now we got everything all buttoned up, but we got all our fig rocks in and we're just gonna be doing all our couple beaches now. So where that slump set is our spillway. Our spillway dumps over that rock there, dumps down into here into this pooling area, then swooshes around and then falls over this big sheet style waterfall coming down over here. So this rock is actually pitched, which we normally don't do, but in this instance, we had to pull it off and we want that shoot of water coming off this rock. So it's gonna shoot off into here, kind of swell up in here around this rock, kind of kick back dog leg around here and then fall down into our pooling area, which conjoins with that awesome waterfall over there. So there's gonna be a lot of movement in the stream. Chris Hansen right now is on his way back to the shop. He's gonna go actually get a small sphere that we're gonna be putting in over here at the homeowners actually requested that we upgrade to. We used to have a bowl sitting over on that corner where that rock's sitting at now, but they didn't like the bowl and they want the sphere now. So that's what Chris is doing right now. It's a little before lunchtime and hopefully we can kind of get everything buttoned up. At least if we can get all the dirt, dirt work out of here and the machine out of here today, that would be fantastic because Monday that machine is getting picked up to get and taken to our next job up north because we need that thing for a big aqua blue job that's coming up next. So just a little recap of what we're doing for today. I know we're going to kind of get as far as we can dirt wise, get all that done. And that way, one last thing we got to do Monday when a water truck shows up because they are on a very shallow well and we cannot fill this thing up with a regular hose. We have to use a water truck to fill up this 1500 gallon reservoir. So wish us luck and we will see how far we get. As you guys might can tell, it's raining. Let me flip you guys around and uh, show you guys what we did to prepare for this rain. So, we have it all tarped and ready to go. We have all our rocks set. We accomplished our goal for today. Orange machine sitting all the way over there. We got all this covered. Monday, we're gonna come back with some topsoil, some mulch, button everything up. We're gonna get the uh, gravel in where the water truck's gonna be here. And we'll be out of here Monday. We are finally done on this job. I know it's been a little bit. The last time that we talked was when we were just up there in that waterfall, but I just wanted to come out here and show you guys. It's been a couple days since we finished this job. I know Monday we were out here pretty late in the evening. It got pretty dark. We weren't able to film anything else, but the guys, Udi and Chrissy came back yesterday, able to mulch everything and finish everything. We were able to get this thing up and running and it turned out awesome. I just want to come out here and show you guys a quick snippet of everything. Chris and Brian are hopefully going to come out here and show you guys a full wrap up and a full walk through of everything. If not, we will definitely come back out next season when everything, when the plants are really in color and full bloom and everything is all buttoned up and ready to go for the season next year. Cause unfortunately in Chicago land, it's the end of the season right now. But as I was saying, let me just show you guys what we did on this right side. I know we talked a little bit on that left side and that turned out amazing, but this right side looks absolutely incredible. As I mentioned earlier, we have these two sheet style waterfalls right here and right here. And then we have this waterfall up top. Actually, we were able to add last minute considering that we had a good bit of liner left over and rock left over and the elevations allowed for us to come in here and add another waterfall. So our spillway sits up top, wells up in this area, dumps over these two rocks, kind of dog legs around this rock and then flows over into our waterfall. So this thing turned out absolutely amazing. I'm really happy how everything turned out on that right side. It was kind of daunting considering how tall we had to go with. But as you guys can tell, those rocks are some pretty big rocks. I know this rock was kind of maxed out our machine that we had out here. So it was pretty cool to kind of put the rocks back together Again, I know before we were out here last year and we had to redo this feature this year, but it looks absolutely incredible the second time around. Not that I didn't like the first time, but I mean, it's rocks. You're not gonna be able to put everything back together even if you were to number them and put them back the way you originally had it the first time. Joints just do not line up. As I said earlier, the guys were able to come in here, mulch everything, finish everything, get everything in. And we actually, last minute, actually decided to add a sphere over here on this left side. So we had this beach area that we had on this side, but the homeowners wanted a, a fountainscape element. They had that bowl in here before, but they didn't like the bowl. And so we decided to add the sphere, which really ties in this waterfall and that waterfall 
wall with the sphere. And it just turned out absolutely incredible. I really like how everything turned out. The homeowners are absolutely ecstatic with how it looks right now, which is our top goal is to always make sure that our customers are happy. So we did a phenomenal job out on this job. I know everyone was happy and pleased of how it turned out. Hopefully the landscapers come out here and add a little bit more plants to this, give it a little bit more greenery to this and let everything pop. Because I remember before when this thing was planted up, it looked pretty cool. So hopefully you guys like this. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please leave a comment down in the comment section. If you guys have any questions about anything, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We'll get back to you on those or we might discuss them in another video. So it's Jack with Team Aquascape signing out. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your week. I know we will and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.